It's a typical day in Cineopolis at City Hall, and just outside the commissioner's office, we find our heroes, Night Night and Boo Boo, questioning a certain man. All right, sir. Take a long look at this photograph of this poor woman found dead in a ditch. Anything familiar about her? What? Oh my god! Is that my little Susie? <laughs> Fooled you! <laughs> now, Bubo. Alright, sir. No, no, no. That's not your daughter. This is just some other crime photo from some other case. But, uh, I had to eliminate you as a possible suspect in your daughter's disappearance. And based on your reaction, I'd what? say you passed the you... test. What? <sighs> You assholes, you're inhuman. Crime is a terrible, rough and tumble business, and it's not for the weak need, sir. Night, night, Bubo! Get your asses in my office right now! Damn it, night, night. Just when I think you can't sink any lower, here you go. You prove me wrong again. That poor man's been suffering for six months now since his daughter went missing. Six months, huh? Well, that just proves that your methods are ineffective. Clearly a more creative and talented mind is required. While well, you sit here and piddle about on the taxpayer's dime. Yeah, I guess I'm a lazy asshole because I just won't bring myself to uh, torture a grieving father. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of laziness, just when were you going to get around to informing me that Snakehead has been released from prison? Well, obviously you found out anyway. Besides, I thought you were the creative and talented one. Gee, what do you need a lazy piddler like me for? Excellent point, wet one. After all, it's clearly your incompetence that must have led to the sudden missing evidence and witnesses that led to Snakehead's release. Had I been brought into the loop, this might not have occurred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, for your information, we actually have right now an informant... But Wait, what? An informant? Never, never Where? Mind. Who is this Just person? Get out of here. I need to be brought in so they can have the utmost protection so that he doesn't go missing as well. No, 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 no. Just, just get, get your pantyhose asses out of here while I sit back and uh, lazily piddle about in my office. Get out of here, night, night. Get! And later, back outside City Hall within the night cruiser. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we got nothing to do, night, night. So, uh, now we can head over to the Tasty Freeze and get me a chocolate fudge sundae. No, Bobo. What? Well, you promised an agonage. No, shut up! We're gonna go around back and wait a few minutes as Commissioner Wetwin goes home. And then we've got work to do. And so, a few minutes later, we can find our masked marbles scaling the wall of City Hall. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. I mean, climbing up the side of the building on ropes and stuff. That's stupid. We could have just gone in, taken the elevator, and walked in the front door. No, you idiot. We have to be stealthy. No one can know we're going into the commissioner's office. Um, that's breaking and entering night night. That's a big no-no. <laughs> Boobo, damn you. An even bigger injustice is denying Cityopolis the talents and brilliance of this town's, maybe even this nation, nay, the world, the greatest detective mine. Who the hell's that? Me, you idiot! Now, let's get to the commissioner's computer. Let's see, uh... Uh-oh, we're locked down. We don't have the password. Oh, well, there went that idea. No, Bobo. I simply need to upload my night-night anti-firewall virus. Huh, that could mess up the whole police department's computers. Well, let that be a lesson to them, Bobo. Had they simply involved me, this ordeal wouldn't have happened. Yet another example of their incompetence. So I... Wait, uh, here we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, this one. It says informant. That's gotta be the one. Hmm, we'll go by the dates. And, uh... Yes, here he is. A former member of Snakehead's gang. Sanford Frico. Staying at the Notel Motel. All right, that's our target, Bubo. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's here in this folder? <laughs> Look, 
<laughs> it's those nude pictures of Zarzillion. <laughs> if only he knew that supermodel Zarzillion is really moon made. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, wow. Some of these I hadn't seen. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing she didn't activate her superpowers because her glowing butt would have blinded the camera. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right Bubo, settle down there. Yeah, but look. Looks like Commissioner had this this cartoon hand uh, animated GIF thing spank her ass. <laughs> uh, well, you think you know somebody. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough of that, Bobo. Let's go. We've got a mission to achieve. But first, let's download those files. The informants? Yeah, that too. And later at club night. Oh, man, why y'all gotta walk through the front door dressed up like that? We would have gone around back, Smedley, but time is of the essence. You, know, you need to slip back to the back office and uh, grab an extra uh, weapon satchel for Bubo. Oh, man. What y'all up to this time? The police have an informant from the Snakehead Gang. They've got him in witness protective custody at the No-Tell Motel, but we don't believe that's sufficient. So we will go and get him and bring him to a safe house of our own with night-night protection. The commissioner, uh, he's okay with all this? No, Night Nash is doing it on his own. Shut up, Bobo. The commissioner has already proven his incompetence in this by losing evidence and witnesses that resulted in Snakehead's early release. Oh, man. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to our masked marbles, a shady character is eavesdropping on their conversation. And then he pulls out his phone. Hey, boss. Seems like Night Night and Bobo just spilled on the location of San Fran Frico. Excellent. Now keep form. And when you confirm that it is the San Fran Frico, get rid of him. Okay, boss. And later at the No Tell Motel. Hey, what is this? Mr. Frico, I am Night Night. And I'm Bobo. Shut up, Bobo. We're here to take you into protective custody. Well, uh, uh, this is where the police put me to keep me uh, out of harm's way. Yes, but they're insufficient and incompetent morons. You'll be safer with us. I don't know. I think I ought to stay here. Don't be an idiot. The way things are going, you'll be dead within minutes if you stay here. Well, all right. And minutes later, outside, as our heroes and their burden approach the night cruiser... Keep your eyes peeled, Bobo. Every nook and cranny can be the possible nest of an assassin. What's the worst that could happen? No! No! No shit, Bobo. You got Frico shot. I didn't shoot him. I don't even have a gun. No, you idiot. idiot. My God. We're in serious trouble, Bobo. Oh, we managed to get him shot within seconds of bringing him in our custody. Uh, you're in trouble? What about me? I'm the one who's been shot. Uh, give me to the hospital. Oh! We've got to act fast, I know. I'll call the night cruiser over here by remote control. It's just a few steps away, we can make it on foot. No, Bobo, time is of the essence. And so, Night Night activates the remote control device that brings the night cruiser roaring to their position. Unfortunately, it runs over San Francisco's wounded body, damaging it even more than the assassin's bullets did. Oh, oh shit, Bobo! Oh, no, I told you! Shut up, Bobo, damn it! Nay, hey, boss. I don't think we gotta worry about Frico no more. And now, part two. Where we find ourselves at Cityopolis Memorable Hospital. And there, we find Night Night and Bubo questioning the doctor on stand. So, doctor, how is he? Well, aside from the brain damage that's leaving him pretty much a drooling vegetable, and, of course, the destruction to his spine, which has left most of his body paralyzed, he's fine. Unbeknownst to Night Night and the Doctor, around the corner, a shadowy figure is observing Night Night Bubo and the Doctor. Fine. Well, he won't be for long. Well, I guess the work's done here, huh, Night Night? Not so fast, Bubo. We can't leave this informant, because if we do, the killer will strike again. What? You mean he's gonna come here to the hospital? That's right, Bubo. And finish the job. Come on, we gotta go to Frico's room. And in Frico's room! Look at him just laying there, Bubo. Oh, helpless and unprotected. Just as the killer will expect him to be. Well, what are we gonna do? 
Quick, help me get him out of the bed. We're gonna, uh, let's see, hide him under it. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> yeah. All right, get him under there. Get him under there. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, damn, he's heavy. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> damn load. Think you he could help us in helping to save your life? Get in there. <clears throat> there. All right. There. Now, I'm going to take his place and hide under these covers. And you can, uh, hide in the bathroom. Uh, it stinks like pee and poo in there. I ain't going in there. Get in that bathroom, boy. Now. No. And now, I must lay down and await the cold, steely grip of death. People just don't appreciate the risks I take in the pursuit of justice. Oh, I fell asleep. Oh, oh, that was close. Wait. The door just opened. Getting closer. Ever closer. Closer steel. Now's the time to strike. Take that vile villain. Woman. I'll admit, I didn't expect a female assassin, but well. Assassin? What? I'm his nurse, you moron! A clever disguise, to be sure, but not enough to fool the night knight. What? Who are you? This is an assassination. Don't nobody move. Okay. Wh where's the patient? Good lord. Seeing as how you just walked in here, holding that pistol, I must conclude that you are the hitman. Yeah, great going there, wise guy. Yeah, you just bought yourself some bullets. Now, both of you, get up against that wall. Now, wait a minute. You, you can't do this. Oh, my God. No, no. No, no. Then, once again, when backed into a corner, Night Knight is at his most dangerous. He quickly reaches to his night belt and pulls out a night grenade, which he activates, tossing it in front of the hitman and then covering himself, which the nurse then struggles to get behind him to get some cover from him, too. And when the smoke clears, it is the Night Knight that stands victorious over a much devastated room with a now gaping hole in the wall that leads to the outside world. Let that be a lesson to villains and criminals everywhere. Oh my god! I think that meat hanging from the ceiling was him! A fitting end for his kind. What the hell's going on? Night Knight! What are you doing here? Saving the life of your informant, Commissioner. The informant? Where? Good lord, is that him crumpled under the bed? How'd he get there? Uh, well, who knows what sick means the uh, killer was going to use to... Well, wait a uh, minute, the killer didn't do that. He, he was already there when I got in here. Well, there could be more of them. Uh, nine, nine, just get out of here. Just go. Get! No, oh, sure, you can't wait to take full credit of my endeavor. Very well, Commissioner. You go right ahead, you glory hound. <laughs> I can't take another moment in here. God, hey, <laughs> Damn, why didn't anybody flush around here? Yeah, boo let's go. What is the meaning of all of this? Who are you? Why, I'm Dr. Gore. I'm overseeing this patient. Well, your patient has barely survived an assault by this pantyhose-clad idiot. Th that's a lie. I just saved his life from a hitman. You'll find pieces of him splattered all over the room. And besides, these aren't pantyhose, they're spandex. There's a very big difference. Good lord. All right. Get this man out of here and on a gunny. We've got to take him into surgery immediately. Do you think you can save him, Doctor, and help him recover enough so that he can speak with us? Don't worry, Commissioner. He's in good hands, or my name isn't Dr. Gore. And now, it's time for City City News Special Report, now live. Because if it's not now, it's not live. And now, here's Wiener Wanker. Hello, I'm Wiener Wanker. Earlier today, Cityopolis Police Department suffered a fatal loss. Yes, turns out that San Francisco was their only informant to the infamous Snakehead Gang. Sadly, he passed away during surgery this afternoon. He had suffered an assassin's bullet, but also several assaults from Night Night, which also left his hospital room a devastated, bombed-out ruin, after which 
A Dr. Gore performed immediate surgery on him. Unfortunately, he passed away during surgery. On a side note, hospital staff just suddenly realized they didn't have a Dr. Gore on staff and no one seen or heard from him since. But still, authorities believe the chief blame for this disaster goes to Night Night. I'll have more after this. Oh no, did Night Night bungle this? And who the hell is Dr. Gore? Perhaps we'll find out in the next exciting episode of Night Night. This has been a Nail Sin production. The Night Night theme song is performed by Alistair White and his lovely wife, Heather. Incidental music is courtesy of Kevin McLeod. All characters are performed by me, Douglas Nelson. Join us again, won't you?